हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इडू केयर टू फोर सेवन दिस इज द सिक्स लेक्चर ऑफ करेंट इवेंट्स एंड डेवलपमेंटल इशूज दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू पी एस सी ई पी एफ ओर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जामिनेशन इन आवर सिक्स लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कसिंग डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस ड्यूरिंग लॉकडाउन ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन द केसेज ऑफ डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस हैज इंक्रीज सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक इन द डिटेल एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू सोशल सिक्योरिटी इन इंडिया Educate 247 has started lecture series on all the important topics mentioned in the UPSC EPF 2020 syllabus so you can subscribe to our channel for further updates Educate 247 has launched UPSC EPF 2020 comprehensive course in this comprehensive course we are providing notes MCQs video lecture and 12 full length mock test currently we are running a discount you can use EPFO coupon code to get thousand rupees discount. The whole world is locked down, so it will be a lockdown learning at your home. You can study. Your study should not be hampered. That's why we are running a discount. So you can subscribe to EPFO course. It will be very useful for your upcoming examination. Recently, United Nations Security General appealed to different government to pay more attention to prevent the surging cases of domestic violence. Because of lockdown, people are staying at home and they are at social distancing. They have economic uncertainties, they have anxiety, and it is leading to more domestic violence cases. National Commission for Women has also reported that in India, the cases has been increased. Two three times recently, Union Minister of Women and Child Development had a video conference with Ministry personnel to how to deal with this kind of situation, how to take care of the women, and how to prevent women from being the victim of domestic violence cases. Let us understand what is domestic violence. The term domestic violence is used in many countries to refer. to intimate partner violence but it also include child and elder abuse and abuse by any member of the household world health organization says that one in every 3 women across the globe experience some kind of physical and sexual violence by intimate partner or sexual violence by perpetrators in their lifetime so basically domestic violence include physical violence like slapping hitting kicking and beating sexual violence like forced sexual intercourse and other sexual coercion emotional abuse is also domestic violence like insulting someone constant humiliation or threat to take away child threat to harm these all are the part of domestic violence the controlling behavior is also domestic violence it include isolating a person from family and friend monitoring their movements restricting access to financial resources employment education medical care so this all comes under the domestic violence so if anyone is doing this kind of thing with their partner it will be counted as a domestic violence let us see some important data related to domestic violence cases national family health survey forces that 30% women in india in the age group of 15 to 49 have experienced physical violence cases 83% of women claim that their main perpetrators were husband and mothers of husband fathers and sibling of husband have also the main perpetrators in many cases in india the major crimes are cruelty by husband or relatives assault on women with an intent to outrage her modesty kidnapping abduction and rape these all things are related to women In 2018 UN report says that all the murder happen for female 82% happen at their marital home so basically in their home 82% female murders have been committed according to UN report so these are the stats related to domestic violence cases let us understand the important cause of domestic violence the first important cause is patriarchy many believe that they have right to control their partner and women are not equal to men according to national family health survey 4 it says that 42% of the men think they have at least one valid reason 
to hit their wife so this is the condition because domestic violence is very much prevalent in india the next important factor is societal influence many people learn violent from their family if in their surroundings the violence is happening they learn that and they, when they grow they use that violence in their home the next important point is economic causes if people are unemployed they are taking alcohols and drug they might be in a violent behavior and it will lead to domestic violence the another important point is socio cultural that is the cases related to dowry honor killing it also lead to domestic violence the most important factor here is individual factor why it is important because many people have low self esteem they have extreme jealousy they have difficulties in regulating their anger and it lead to domestic violence it is very much individual maybe the person is not influenced by the society or they don't think in a patriarchal system but they don't have control on them themselves that's why it lead to domestic violence so these are the important causes of domestic violence government of india has started many initiative to save women from the domestic violence and they are providing many economic and social support to the women the most important scheme is one stop center it is a centrally sponsored scheme and it is run by ministry of women and child development it is a sub scheme of national mission for empowerment of women this center is across the country and in this center the women affected with domestic violence can stay they will get the necessary support from the government the funding of this scheme comes from the nirbhaya fund and 100% financial assistance is provided by the central government these centers are audited by controller and auditor general of india so it is very important center at this center emergency response will be provided medical assistance will be provided fir support filing fir support will be provided socio and economic support will be provided counseling will be provided legal aid will be provided then video conferencing facility with the family will be provided so this is very important center to save the women from the domestic violence the next important scheme is working women hostel scheme this scheme is implemented by ministry of women and child development it aims to ensure safe accommodation for working women away from their place of residence under this scheme basically security and safety of women will be ensured they will be provided quality of stay away from their home for their safety security guard and cctv will be installed at their working women hostel the next important scheme is swadhar this scheme is for women in difficult some circumstances it was launched by department of women and child development in 2012 2. the aim of this scheme is to provide shelter food clothing counseling training clinical and legal aid basically the women with difficult circumstances the next important scheme is ujwala home this scheme is for the prevention of trafficking and if women will be rescued from the trafficking they will keep in this ujwala home so this is very important scheme to prevent crime related to trafficking so this is the important scheme by government of the india hope you have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video like share and comment thank you and happy learning and subscribe to educate 247